until around 8 o'clock this evening, so enjoy what is guaranteed to be a beautiful day. On a day like today, I can think of nothing better than going to the golf course after the show, but it's meetings, meetings and more meetings. For me, what about you today? Probably a good thing, because your golf sucks. I'm heading into Belfast. I love the fact that there's so many movies being made here in Northern Ireland, and I have heard that there could be some celeb spotting to be done because there's an A-lister potentially arriving in Northern Ireland today. In 25 on the roads across Northern Ireland, everything's moving well this morning. Good news, we're back with more after these. Cool FM. Special guest showing up at the first thing to greet him is your undercarriage. All right, keep your way going, Marcus. Lucy? Yeah. Turn the frying upside down. What are they still doing here? I need them in the Titanic suite on the coffee table. Action stations, Vinny. Marcus, the hotel's manager. Hey, what's up, Marcus? It's cool to be here. Follow me and I'll check in. Lucy, could you check in? Mr. Zach Goliath? Uh, Zach was my character's name. My real name is Josh. Josh Jenkins. Of course. I'm so sorry. I'm just a huge fan of your show. On the court. He's insane. Go, go, Goliath's game. A giant on the court with arms like a crane. Go, go, Goliath's game. Take you up your wee room. Here it is. It's one of our finest rooms. You've got a city view. Duck down pillows. The bathroom has a jacuzzi bath with complimentary Irish bog body scrub. And as this is the Titanic suite, the life jacket's under the bed. <laughs> Lily, what about these? Wow, this is awesome, man. When you said we room, I thought, heck, will I fit? <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mr. Jenkins. Please call me Josh. Josh. Could I be really cheeky and ask you to sign this? <laughs> oh, wow. Man, I haven't seen one of these in years. Sure, why not? So what has you in Belfast? Well, the plan is to make a movie with my production company, Goliath Films. Now, the script's pretty much there, so I want to check out some locations, I want to do some casting, but mainly, I want to get a real authentic feel for Belfast. Sure. A movie. It's exciting, isn't it? So what's it going to be called? City of Trouble. City of 
trouble. Nice. You know if you're looking for any actors? I'm your man. <laughs> well, you gotta read for me when I'm casting. Audition? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, this day doesn't get any better. Perfect, Marcus. Thank you. My pleasure. If you need anything when you hear anything, anything at all, you call Marcus. Hey, man, can you call me a cab? Where are you off to, sir? Well, I want to get a handle on this place, you know what I'm saying? I want to get a real feel for the city. Well, in that case, the best way to see Belfast, the real authentic way, mm -hmm. is to walk it. Is it safe? You know, just walking around. Save his houses, sir. OK, cool. Um, please, call me Josh. And I'm supposed to call you? Benny. It's a pleasure to meet you, Josh. OK, yeah, great. Um, yeah, I'll see you around, Joe. Put that on my room. You're very generous. Thank you. Oh, go on. Give us your theme tune. Yeah. Go on. No, like I said before. On the court. He's, he's insane. insane. Go, 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 go ice game. game. Giant, Giant on the court. court. Arms like a cream. Go, 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 go ice game. game. <laughs> you ever see any of the other actors? <laughs> Crying out loud. No. I mean, we've all moved on. So, so should all of you. No, I didn't mean that you have to leave. Hey, where are you going? Hard being famous and good looking. Yeah, sure is. You find that as well? <laughs> My dad used to say, Patrick, you're not that important. None of us are that important. What, are you going to give me your autograph now? <laughs> Take one of those in the morning. I'll sort you out. Hello! Hello! Housekeeping! Papa! Oh, it's all right, love. It's nothing that I haven't seen before. Although I must say, you're in a bit better shape than the usual ones around here. You would pass your MOT any time. Get out of my room! I'm so sorry, just I'm get cleaner. out! I'm sorry. Now! I'm, I'm just a cleaner. Hey, is this gluten-free? Yeah. Are you sure this is gluten-free? Oh, I've never been more sure of anything in my life. You look awful familiar. Um, no. No, I don't do autographs. Autograph? No, I was going to say that my ma loves you. Yes, yeah, she said that you were in town, but well, I never heard of you. Next. Hey, come on in, man. Stand on that mark. Look into the camera. State your name, age, and agent. Josh. It's me, Marcus. Yeah, I know, but you have to say it to the camera. Yeah, of course. We're recording, right? Hi, I'm Marcus Diddy Neff, and I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> no freaking way. Your name cannot be Diddy Neff. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> uh, OK. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, 
Let's start again. Hi, I'm Marcus Didinib. I'm 34. I'm currently in between agents. So. Okay. Um, let's start at page 36. Soldier number three. Soldier number three? I thought I was reading Captain Don Carter. No offense, Marcus, but you're not six foot four. Or good looking. I could still give it a go. Look, man, I'm trying to give you an opportunity here, and Soldier 3 is a damn good part. He's in it for like five seconds. He's wearing a gas mask. I mean, they won't even know it's me. I'm sorry here, Josh, but you said I could audition, so... Yeah, I threw it out there that you could audition. But now you're just being a diva. Look, man, even if you were good enough, imagine this. Captain Dan Carter, our valiant hero of the City of Trouble, starring... Work is diddy nip. <laughs> Next. Hey man, stand on the mark. Name, age, and agent to the camera. Hey, I'm John. Hey, I'm sorry, Mr. Jenkins, but I can't think of any other contacts or places that would suit what you're looking for. I think maybe. Listen, honey, you got Google, yeah? Look it up. In fact, just leave it, I'll do it myself. That's where you're going. Sorry. Are you all right, darling? Grace? Gracie? Right, Mum will be half an hour tops. So That's all right, love, don't worry. Okay, all right. Let me kiss. Okay, girl. Mel okay? Ah. Uh, he has no manners, so he hasn't. What is Goliath's game, anyway? Oh, it was a TV show. The whole of Northern Ireland watched it. Oh, I suppose, I suppose it was a bit of light relief for us back oh. then. <laughs> I've never heard of it. I was only born in 94. I've brows older than you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know he never tips? He's only been here three days, and already his bill is massive. Apparently he doesn't go back to Los Angeles for another week. Well, that'll give Los Angeles a bit of a break. <laughs> you okay, Grace? They can't do this to me, Claudia. Claudia, they just can't. I am so, so sorry, my love. I just got the call from Lance's office, and the studio is definitely out. But why? I mean, they loved the idea, didn't they? I mean, they, they bought it. Yes, Lance loved the idea and wanted to invest, but how do I say this? Honest answer, he wasn't a fan of the script. Script? But I'm here in Belfast rewriting the script for crying out loud. Oh, Josh, darling, the producers have no understanding of the artistic process whatsoever and ever. But on a more positive note, I have just heard back from Celebrity Circus. And they are considering you. As long as I can get the network to rerun Goliath's game in time. I mean, the casting was almost there. The crew was all... Oh, Josh, I am so, so sorry, my darling. I've put everything I have into this, Claudia, everything. Josh! Josh! Claudia? Josh, this is such a lie. Claudia. Mr. Jenkins! Can I help you? No, uh, thank you, Marcus. I was just about to check out. Oh. I thought you weren't checking out until next, um... A change of plan. I have to go 
Can I? Sure. That's no problem. We can sort that for you. I don't know how you do things in California, Mr. Jenkins, but in this part of the world, we usually check out at reception. Oh, good to know. I'm sorry, Mr. Jenkins. This card has been declined as well. Look. I'm having a tiny temporary issue with the cash flow right now due to the fact that I've invested everything I have in this movie and one of my funders just sort of pulled out. Marcus, I've missed my flight now. Can I stay here just for one night? I'm afraid you can't stay here for one more minute. Vinny. What am I going to do? I don't have any money. I don't have anywhere to go. Not my problem. Not your problem. Listen, you... May I remind you that we have a copy of your passport, so I would suggest you settle your bill as soon as possible. Otherwise, we will have no alternative other than phoning the police. The police? Vinny. This way. Josh. Hey! Come on. You can stay with us for the night. Wouldn't see you stuck. Come on. I mean, you'd rather spend the night with them ones. Come on, sweetheart. Josh Jenkins. Do you want him and Bingo, Mummy? <laughs> this is uh, Billy Robert, and this is Kanye. Kanye? Do you have a problem with his name, Big Lot? No. He's staying with us. Yes. And, and look, why, why don't you hang your coat up, and boys? You go and get Josh a wee hand with his luggage. Right. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. What even is that? Oh, it's just what I had left in the freezer. You guys eat this stuff? He's a stuck-up scumbag, Nanny. Right, boys, why you go off to bed? That's good, boys. Night, Mr. Jenkins. You come on my wall until the morning, but don't use it, because only princesses are allowed to use it. Maybe I'll just have it, and you can have it tomorrow. Go on, Grace. Go on up and get ready for bed. Night, pet. I'll be out of here tomorrow for sure. Don't you worry about that. It's own brand. So if it's not fancy enough for you, you don't have to drink it. Night. Could have given me a heart attack. Here, 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 what's going on? These two goofballs nearly killed me. Duh, they're toy guns. Billy Robert, can you? Outside and play. 
No. Unbelievable. I'll tell you what's unbelievable. You do not come into my house and insult my grandchildren. Only I'm allowed to do that. You need to wind your neck in. I don't even know what you just said. You've got Google, haven't you? Well, look it up. And unless you want to be crowned a woman of the year, I suggest you take a wee look in the mirror. All right, darling, come on. Come on and I'll get you ready for going to dancing. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm real good. You? <laughs> I'm psyched for you, man. It's, it's him. It's not. Now, I'm in a little bit of a situation right now. I need to catch a flight out of Belfast. Uh, it's so it's, it's not so it's not. It's just I got a little issue with the cash flow right now, and I just need enough for a flight back. What, what, what do you mean not this time? I mean, hello? Jerk. Everybody ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Lovely. Head up. Grace, you're late. It's joining in front of Megan there. Joni, now they got my new belly pumps. They're not new. Oh, I like them. Your hair's nice today. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna take it again from the top. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Keep your head up, Jody McMullen. Nobody wants to see your knits. And smile. We want people to think you're happy. One, two, three. Oh, okay. Okay, stop, Sammy. Stop, stop, stop. We have a show to put on in a few days for your mommies and daddies. And it needs to be good. I mean, Grace, love, which is your left hand? Just a few follow, Megan, OK? A five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. Oh, hiya. I was just leaving so you can have some P and Q. Um. Lily. Lily. Look, I'm having a problem accessing cash right now, and, um... Do you want something? Is that face asking me if you could stay here for another day or two? Belfast people are so straightforward. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Is that a yes? Well, it's not a no. Nice day, Lily. What's the big American fella doing here? See you later, Susie. You were always useless for gossip, sister. I wonder what's going on. What are you doing? Well, you never know. I don't know what. Um, handsome, American, hunk, me. Put them away. What? Sure, nobody would notice. No wish you can see them from outer space. It's wonder of the world, then. Everybody take a break. Hi. Um, <clears throat> Joni, I haven't got her fees in me today, but, like, definitely next week. It's fine. Okay. How's Kanye getting on? Yeah, they're saying he's got selective mutism or something, but I don't know. Well, you're very welcome to bring him to class. Oh, he's all football, 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 obsessed <laughs> with the Northern Irish team. Okay, and, and what about Grace? Yeah, she's okay. You know, she still tires easily, no real improvement. Yeah, I have noticed that. But she's still the life and soul of the party. Hmm. I'll keep my eye on her. Yeah, thank you. Right, what's going on? Grace said a movie star from America is staying at her house 
and is coming to our show. Right. And I'm marrying Leonardo DiCaprio. I can't even get a date, let alone a marriage. At least you could marry me. Yay! Yeah, yeah, marry Sammy. Sammy! Right. Enough fantasizing about movie stars. Let's dance. He is going to come, I promise. OK, Grace, back into position. Well, love. Hey, Mum, is he here? Oh, uh, he's here for sure. What are you doing here? I said I'd call. I, I, I just came here to give you these. Happy birthday. The boys made them. They ask about you, you know. Right. Grace made one too. Well, that was unnecessary. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I was just helping the boys and she wanted it in the action. I suppose it's the thought that counts. Are you able to see the boys sometime or. I could bring them around here? Oh no, don't bring them around here. I get awful busy. I'll be in touch. But you never see them. You could pop around to the house or take them to the park or. Look, I'm worried about Kanye. Well, you should have thought about that before. I'll check my diary. I have a lot on. I'll call you. Yeah. If you could let me know when, that'd be great. Those windows won't clean themselves, Lily Davidson. Probably not. Marcus Divina. Hey, Gina. Thanks for calling me back. So, you're good wiring me some cash? Sure, I can wait a few days. Why don't I take you out for dinner in Venice Beach when I get back as a thank you? Okay, I gotta go. Ciao, beautiful. Hey. Hi. We're on our way to Grace's dance show. Would you like to join us? Uh... Please come. Nobody believes that you stay with us. They laugh at me. Please. I can't. Grace, leave him alone. He's happy being miserable. What? I got location work I gotta do. <laughs> it's not really my scene anyway. I mean, <clears throat> did he not get the memo? What our Grace wants? Our Grace gets. Do you make give it, big lad? Come on. Sammy. Sammy. It's Thingy. Hey. Sam, what's his face? Goliath Games. So it is. So we Grace was telling the truth all along? Seems so. Has my hair sit standing on me? Right. Chest out. Tell me in. Thank you for coming. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Um, Zach, is it? Thank you terribly kindly for coming. Well, it's Josh. Zach is, was my character's name. Silly of me, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I, I should have known what with me also being in show business. It happens all the time. Right. Enjoy.
Here's Grace and I. It doesn't matter if someone is different. We're all equal. Oh, we should all be friends and dance together. He likes it. He likes it. What would he know about dancing? So give him a few lessons. High fives! Yes! Well done! Marcus? Well, well, well. I've seen it all now. Marcus, I didn't know you were going to come give me two minutes. I'll get the boys. Don't right. bother. I can see that you're busy. No, uh. it's not what it looks like. Lily brought him in. Oh, did you think that I cared? Listen, the Marcus train left town a long time ago and you weren't on it. And as if a Hollywood... Sorry. A washed-up Hollywood star. But look at somebody like you. Marcus, Marcus, the boys need their dad. Why do you let him talk to you like Why that? Why don't you just mind your own business? That was awkward. Marcus? I had no idea. He has a lot to answer for. He wasn't a bit good to her. Why are you so good to me? I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. Is that from a movie? More a book. Give me back my ring. What ring? Give me back my ring. Well, this ring? You little... You think this is funny, huh? Give me back my ring. Give me back my ring. Give me back my... Come get it. Come give me back my ring. You think this is funny? You think That's this is it. funny? That's enough. Benny Robert Davison, give the man back his ring now. And you too. What's going on, boys? What? What? So mother you are. You just stand there and look on while someone else looks after your kids. I mean, here's the thing. They're your kids. You know, maybe if you stopped popping pills, you'd be more of a mom. I mean, why'd you have them if you weren't even going to look after them? Don't worry, love. Look, if you come to say to me what a bad man I am, I know already. Why you look after them all? Anything given that we're truly happy. What's the matter? It's my mom. That's me as a baby. She's supposed to be from around here somewhere. She was from around here? Yeah. My dad was a soldier here. And when I came around, she didn't want me. So 
He left the army, he went to the US, he took me with him. You know, it was right before he passed away, he gave me this. It's my great great grandmother's ring. It's passed on to my mom and she gave it to my dad to give to me when the time was right. So I've been working to find her ever since. Her name was Ruby. Ruby Jenkins. Named after some singer. That'd be Ruby Murray. She was the best there ever was. Ruby Jenkins. Ruby. Oh, Josh. <laughs> what? Your mum passed away a few years ago. Well, I really don't care. She probably wouldn't have wanted to see me anyway. You know, all this time, she never once made contact. She must have really hated me. Oh, look. She would have had no choice. In, in, in those days, she didn't... Well, especially if it wasn't one of your own. But I know that she would have thought about you every day. No, you don't. How could you have? Right. That's it. You are not going back to America to an empty flat. What you need is some good north coast air. It's our auntie's caravan. And here's the toilet, it's cool. Yeah, but you have to flush it twice, though, you know, when you do an upper. Billy Robert! <laughs> that great show. Bet you've never seen it in this fancy before? No, never. It's the best place ever. Mm, it is, you know. Hey, Josh, come here. Now that is where you're sleeping, mate. <laughs> okay. So, what happened between you and Marcus? We were really happy at the start. And we had the boys, and then we just grew apart. And then I started seeing somebody else, this country singer from Wolverhampton. He was only here for a week. And then I was expecting Grace. You know, he was good. He was really good. Evidently. No, I mean a good singer. <laughs> I meant a good singer. Yeah. So Grace's and Marcus's? No. And he went crazy. I mean crazy. Like, things were not good between us but it was my fault, you know, we were still married. And on top of that, he's got this thing that whenever he gets hurt, he can't cope. Like, 
like an anger problem or something. And then whenever we split up, I lost my job and I lost my confidence. I just sort of went into myself. And so did Kanye. He hasn't really spoken since. And I know Billy Robert seems fine on the outside, but I know he'd like to see more of his daddy. And same with Grace, we have to, we have to keep an eye on her too. She doesn't do too much. Up here, it's like all your worries just disappear. So that's what all those pills are? Antidepressants? Yeah. Sometimes it's like you're under a heavy, dark, damp blanket. You know what you should do, but you just can't do it. I'm so sorry. You know, I thought that you were... No, it's okay. I'm sorry, too. I thought you were a stuck-up TV star. We thought he was somebody. <laughs> right. I should have known. Mommy is away seeing through to people's hearts. Yeah, she's quite some lady. And Grace just adores you. She is a sixth sense. Josh, are you really here to make a film, or is it a complicated plan to find your own? Both, I guess. Hmm. Hey. You believe that people will come into you? Your life for a reason? on the door, take me somewhere I've never been before. Old Trafford, Barbie's castle. (laughs) 
Here, why don't you two go out for a while? I'm all right. Will I? Yeah, sure. I'm reaching out, I'm standing here waiting for something. Love is teasing, time is fleeting, the world turns. Oh, hi, here are some good looking maps here. <laughs> oh, look how it is, it's a big blowing from the big city. Oh, come on, what about you? Hi, Mo. We used to play here together in the summers. Oh, oh. here, she's got some voice that you'll have to give us a wee crown later on. Oh, no, she's got some cell lungs on her, so she does, eh? <laughs> Mo would like your autograph. Oh, uh, no, sorry. I don't do autographs. What? You know what? You can stick your autograph up your big banjo, you big pile of horse dung. What did she say? Basically that you are rude not to give your autograph, and I tend to agree. Right. Okay, you sing, and I'll apologize and sign an autograph. Deal? Deal. I'm sorry, honey. I'd love to. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on, Mel. Get up. Oh, come on, Mel. Come on, get up. Come on, please. Come on. Come on, come on. Would you just come on, Mel. Come on, get up. Come on. She's brilliant. Be right. here and stop making this. Ah. These days are so long Time keeps disappearing These nights are so dark All I hear is the sound of your heart Place your hand in mine Let me take away the pain don't turn away You don't need to hide who you are Before the curtain comes down Before the curtain comes down I want you to know You will always be the one I'm needing You will always be the one I'm breathing left to do now and all I want is to be there with you before the curtain comes down before the curtain comes down I want you to know you will always be the one I'm breathing you will always be the one I'm needing love will only change It was amazing. You don't have to say that. No, really, it was. Cheers. Cheers. No. <laughs> she was. You started that one. <laughs> Thank you for your jacket. Sure. Well? Yeah? Thanks for tonight.
you heard the news? Colin Farrell wants to walk the red carpet with me. Not quite, but it is juicy. What is? You know the American, Josh Jenkins? Yes. His mum's from here. He was born here and then was taken to America to live with his daddy. Really? How do you know? It's all over the internet. Woman called Ruby Jenkins. She's dead now, like, but can you believe that? Can I have a look? Hmm? Of course I can't wait to get back. What are you, crazy? I gotta take you out for that dinner in Venice Beach. I've been promising you. I gotta go, bye. Hey, Mel. So I'm gonna be out of here tomorrow for sure. I'll miss you. I've been taken for a fib before, so don't worry about it. Look, that was just a little... I bit. don't want to know. I mean, what was I thinking? As if me and you could ever... Like... Mel, I don't want to hurt you. Look, I know what I'm like, and I'm not good enough for you. Oh, no, really, I'm not a good guy. Would you like a cup of tea? Yeah. Marcus, Grace isn't well. Now, now I, I know that you don't care, but I am going to have to go. Again? I'm sure it's no more serious than it was the last time. Oh, but she's in the hospital. My hands are tied, Lily. I'm sorry. Oh, you are not being fair. I'm not being fair. Do you think I don't know how many times you've been looking after her when you should have been here working? I'm going to have to put my foot down, Lily. Do you know, you can't spend your life being horrible to people just because it makes you feel great. You think that you are above everybody. Well, I've news for you. You're not. And as for our boys, I'm glad they have hardly anything to do with you because I wouldn't want one drop of your nature near them, so I wouldn't. And as for our Grace, she needs me. And wild horses, let alone some we jumped up nobody has gonna stop me. Lily, I'm not being unreasonable. Lily, if you leave like this, you're fired. Thank you. That is the best news I have had all year. And you can take your job and stick it. Are you little Grace's mother? Yeah. There's no easy way to say this. We believe she has a very serious heart condition. She needs a very specific procedure, but unfortunately, we don't have the facilities in Northern Ireland to do it. Surely there's something you can do for the wee love? Well, I have put a call in to a hospital in London that does this procedure. But we need to move very fast if there is to be any chance of success. There is another problem. The costs are, I would estimate, in the region of £60,000. £60,000? Are you sure? Now, if Grace was to go, she has to go as soon as possible. I mean, in the next few days. I just want to assure you, we will do everything we can. 
Can I go into her now, please? Of course. Josh, will you take the boys home? Sure. We're going to get this, Mum. I sure. I'll sell my Ferrari. Shut your pie hole, wee Maggie. I'm serious. We need to pull together. We can get everybody in the area. Maybe we should be careful about getting their hopes up, you know? It sounds kind of impossible to raise that amount of money in a few days. Last thing I want to do is get their hopes up. Useless even trying. Excuse me. Please, can we try? I've got 43 pounds in my savings jar. Billy Robert is even more. I don't want our wee Grace to die. Please. Oh, you're some wee lad, so you are. We're gonna raise this money if it kills me. Okay, so where do we start? Like, how do you get that much money th this quickly? I, uh, uh, what, we could do a, a sponsored kiss-a-thon? Aye, they could pay to not kiss you. Well, we could do a sponsored diet. Oh, I'm not sure. It's not like as if I have that much to lose, you know? What? That's bloat! Water retention! Ah, well, you better call Noah if it ever bursts. Maybe Joni could do a dance-a-thon. Yeah, they do that kind of thing in the States all the time. It makes a lot of money. Yes! I love dancing! Josh, darling, would you ask Joni? I know she'd do anything for you. For we Grace. Yeah. In other news, an appeal has been launched to raise money for Belfast girl Grace Davidson. Fundraising is taking place across the country in what has been dubbed the Amazing Grace Campaign. Efforts are building towards the campaign's showpiece finale, a massive dance-a-thon to be held this Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Amazing Grace Dance-a-thon. Now, every pound you raise is going to help save our Grace. Cue music. Let's dance for Grace. I'm standing here in the heart of Belfast where excitement and urgency are in the air. Local people from across Northern Ireland are rushing to the aid of a five-year-old girl called Grace. Grace is desperately in need of costly life-saving treatment and time is of the essence. So let's get our dancing shoes on and see what's going on. <laughs> your eyes. What do you see? White clouds and white princesses. What else? There's a giant seesaw. There's even a teddy bear's picnic. There's no fuzzy drinks in light, but Grandma Jerry's there. Okay. I'll do. Um, do you want a wee sip of water? Yes, thank you. Yeah.
Sammy. S A M M Y. S A M M Y. Okay. There you go, man. <laughs> is getting weaker. Um, I think I'm going to have to transfer her to intensive care. Is there any news? Well, everybody's doing their best. Thanks, thanks for support, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. You're gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go Yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it is so inspiring to see so many people from across the city and beyond and from all walks of life pulling together. £60,000 needs to be raised in just a few days. So please, please donate what you can now. Billy Robert! Billy Robert, look! Tomorrow? Yeah, the boss has to come to the match. That's sick. Wow. Come on, Tanya! 
love this city. But you know what? It's not just everybody here at Windsor Park tonight. There's a few other people who are supporting you and supporting Grace. They're very special and they give you a special mention. Take a look at this. From all of us here from Northern Ireland, we're kind hearted souls. We're the best people. Get behind that Grace. Help her. Help her for her operation and do us all proud. This is a good luck message to little Grace. It sounds like the whole country's behind her and I know she's going to win this fight. We'll all be there to cheer her on. Good luck, Kev. Hiya, Grace. It's Tommy Bow here. I believe you've got a bit of a battle on your hands, but we're all 100% behind you, and we know we're going to see it the other side. Best of luck. Grace, we're all cheering you on. We're all cheering for you, Grace. Grace, we're right behind you. And beside you. Together, we can do this! Do you have anything else to say? Just thanks to everyone, and thanks to the Northern Ireland football team for everything. Kanye, well done, and good luck, and let's get on with the game. Thank you. Right, so, what have we got? Thanks to Kanye's football match, we raised £36,000. We got 19560 from the Dance-a-thon and from the website. Mm -hmm. The collection box has made 560 And 165 from the autographs and the T-shirts. That totals 56285 How much are we short? £3,715. Susie, what would we get for the fish tank? Oh, let me see. Nothing. Those fish cost us a fortune. And I'd sell Sonny and Sheriff that wee girl, I really would. What would you like? Come here. You sold your ruby ring, didn't you? Gladly. It's in giving we are truly happy. Now I know what you mean. <laughs> Will it be all right? All we have to do is have faith. Grace will do the rest. <laughs> Josh, would you be able to look after the boys? Just while we take Grace to London. I don't want too much disruption. But, but now, if you're flying out or anything, that, that's perfectly no, all me right. me mind the boys? Yes, please. Of course. It's no problem. No problem at all. <laughs>
I'm happy to say the operation has been as successful as we could have hoped for. Oh, thank God. Uh, that being said, we still need to be a little cautious until she wakes, of course. But um, everything's going to plan so far. Can you be with her whenever she wakes up? Oh, yes. That would be a good thing. Um, before she went under, she gave me this. She said I could use it if I needed to, but it's still got a little magic left in it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved the wretch like me. Basin toast. Yeah, he's burnt the toast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank God. You guys, your sister's gonna be okay. Yeah, the boys really miss you. No, not just the boys. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye. What? Yes, that's her. Yeah, hold on. Hello? Uh-huh. What, what? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. She's all right. She's all right? She's all right. She's all right. Oh, my God. She's all right. She's all right. She's all right. An update now on Grace Davidson. We can confirm that Grace's operation in London has been a success. Grace is going to be okay. The life saving procedure was made possible after a community fundraising campaign. Tony! Could I come in just for five minutes? Yeah, sure. Come on in. Can I get you anything? No, no. Thank you. I'm just waiting on a call from L.A. on the new funding for my film. I've heard about your film. I was hoping maybe you could get me a love scene with Colin Farrell. Or... <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Um, it's called City of Terror, is it? Trouble. But no, I've actually changed the name of the film. It's now called City of Salt. Well, that is a fantastic title. Better. I know a lot of people don't believe in me, but I will make this movie. I want the world to know about this crazy place. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to sound cheesy, but I feel like the people of Belfast have a lot of love within them, and I really want to capture that. Josh, I have something I'd like to get off my chest. <laughs> Look, I'm... Sorry if I've given you the wrong vibe. I'm not interested. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of really into someone else right now. Do you think I fancy you? No. No! No! Goodness, no! Oh. I think I might. Josh, I'm your sister. Your half-sister.
Ruby Jenkins was my mother. Nobody knows this because I grew up in a different area of Belfast, but... Josh, I am certain you are my brother. You're my sister. That was amazing. It was. I see you soon. Yeah. Everything all right, Josh? Yeah. Everything's more than okay. It doesn't come up that side, does it? Look what the cat dragged in. I've come to settle what I owe. Count it, Lucy. Like I said, I'm here to settle what I owe you and ask you to please give Lily her job back. Excuse me? Have you not done enough charity work for that family? That family is worth a hundred of you. As for Lily, She's the most inspirational woman I've ever met in my life, and she needs this job to, guess what, pay for your kids. You've paid your bills so you can go. You know, Marcus, you have absolutely no heart. Because I don't believe in giving handouts. Except you do, though, don't you? I saw you put the money in the collection box for Grace. That was different. Marcus, don't live your life like I did. Afraid of giving out love in case you get hurt or rejected. Okay, spare me the sentimental Listen, Jackass, you have two beautiful boys out there who need their dad. Two boys who almost lost their little sister. And they love you. I don't know why, but they do. Lucy? Give Lily a call there. See if she wants to do a shift on Tuesday. Happier times here in Belfast as little Grace Davidson returns home after a successful operation in London. Thanks to the generosity of the people of Northern Ireland, Grace received her life-saving treatment and the family have been giving their reaction. We just want to say thank you so much to everybody who's contributed money to the Amazing Grace campaign and the support's been overwhelming and we're so, so grateful. Grace, do you want to say something? Thank you. Josh. Yes? I love you. I love you too. Will you come back? I sure will. Pinky promise? Of course. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Bye, Josh. See you later. Mel, keep singing. I'll be back. OK, take care. There. Yeah. Lily, <laughs> what can I say? There's a wee sandwich for you for the journey. I hope you like pickle. <laughs> <laughs> You're quite a lady. You're quite a fella. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for everything. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Welcome to sunny Belfast. Well, I'm not going to let a little bit of rain dampen our spirits. This is the hottest event of the year. This is the world premiere of City of Soul. And the fans are out in force to catch a glimpse of some of the movers and shakers behind the film. Oh, and first on the red carpet is Joni Clark, who a year ago remarkably discovered that she is Josh Jenkins' half-sister. She's here tonight with her fiancé, Sammy Taylor, composer of City of Soul. Next, there's Marcus Didinick, with his boys, Billy Robert and Kanye, who were so instrumental during last year's Amazing Grace campaign. Didinick's breakthrough performance as Captain Loveheart has had critics and fans buzzing. And here are two big influences on the movie, close friends of Josh Jenkins himself. They're said to be the inspiration behind the groundbreaking dance finale. Which brings me to the reason we're all here, City of Soul. The film tipped to break box office records around the world is the passion project of Josh Jenkins and his production company, Goliath Films. I think I've actually just spotted the main man himself, Josh Jenkins. You guys at home will know Josh's child star, Zach Goliath, but he's all grown up now, and boy, does he look fantastic. Not only does he appear in this film, but he's also written it himself. Now, and I'm gonna try and get a word with him. This is the biggest night of his career, and I'm gonna... J Josh! Josh! Congratulations. You must be so proud. Yes, I am so proud right now. You know, it's actually, it's really surreal to be standing here right now, for sure. And let's talk about the inspiration for this movie. I've been through a lot of things in my life, right? So I just draw from these experiences. And uh, from that, I just, <laughs> you know, what am I saying? I mean, these guys, okay? These guys have been the entire inspiration for this film. Oh, and this little lady right here. What's your name? Grace. So we've got Grace and Goliath. Sounds like a good title for your next movie. Yeah, it sure would. That sounds really good. I'll have to get back to you for that one. Enjoy your night. Okay.
Disappointment, another nobody in the street. Then he came along and took me in, taught me how to love, and the life is for the living. And I don't know where this will go. I'll take your word when you say it doesn't matter anyhow. I know the grace will shine down on me and take me to exactly where I need to be. And I know the grace will shine down on me and give me. Take your word when you say your love is here to stay. And I know the grace will shine down on me. And see me to exactly where I need to be. And I know the grace will shine down. It's always there to take your hand, help you find the gold buried in the sand. And I know the grace will shine down on me and take me to exactly where I need to be. And I know the grace will shine down on me and give me. Great. 